take the database we created in a previous video and actually connect to it in my Java program, which we created in another video. Uh, first thing we need to do is declare a couple of things that we're going to use to make the connection. Uh, Alt Enter to add the SQL version of what pops up for connection and a statement. I'm declaring those outside of any method so that I can use them in multiple different methods. And I'm pasting in some code to complete the connection, which you can find in the comments. The database URL, you need to match the folder name and the database name to what you have in your project. The username and password have to match what you made when you set up the program. And then we're going to make a initialize method that will be called automatically when the controller loads. So we're going to put a call to this initialize database method inside the initialize method. We're going to just call this initialize database method one time, and I'm going to keep the connection open so that we can do database operations in future methods. We need to configure the project to use the database jar file. So I went to modules dependencies at the plus sign to add a jar. And you need to have H2 installed for this. If you don't already have H2 installed, uh, it's relatively easy to download and install. And the default location is your program files uh, H2 folder. And I need to make this initialize method public. And if it succeeds, we get the console output. And if it doesn't succeed, we would have got uh, an exception with an error message. 